What up? What up, everybody? Hope you guys had a great weekend. Ebooks have been updated, so check your email, check the Patreon, and get the post patch Madden schemes. Now, we are on NCAA 25 right now, and I'm going to give you guys a breakdown on how match coverage works. Once you understand match coverage, you can become locked down. So, as always, drop a thumbs up on the video if you want more tips on the offensive side or the defensive side. Let your boy know. Let's get right into it. All right, so we are going to be in the 425 over G. You can find this in a ton of playbooks. We're going to be going over cover four quarters, two by two sets, and then trips sets okay so cover four quarters what i have set auto flip on and then i have aggressive aggressive for the option keys you can do anything that you want and i don't have zone drops on okay so we're going to go to cover four quarters now the first thing we're going to do is two by two so we're going to come into a formation like doubles that's going to be two by two the number system is the most important part of knowing how match works so gun doubles y cell we have a streak fade with a corner and then we have an underneath route by the running back i want you to pay attention to how this plays out the number one thing i do when i am running match i'll always give this guy a little boost to the outside okay so on the first play we are gonna spy people on the line and i'm gonna show you how this looks okay so we're gonna spy people he's gonna run out to the running back He's going to match the corner route. It's key to know your assignment. So when you're looking at this, you have the running back is on the right hand side. So that would mean that this guy down here would be your number one. This person right here would be your number two. And since the running back is on this side, he would be number three. Okay. But since it's two, then the running back and then two on the left, we call this a two by two set so the person responsible for the running back i always move him outside of my end okay i want him to lock on to any kind of flat route as soon as possible you don't want to shade up or shade down that's going to mess up your match on one side okay so as you can see if we hike the ball and the tight end goes to the right side of the field it's my responsibility okay now seeing that you can also see that an inside route can break open, okay? So this guy right here tells you everything you need to know. If he doesn't bump him, it's less than a 10-yard route. So right here, he lets him go. It's less than a 10-yard route. As you can see, it's a hitch. Now, this guy does not lock on because he is doing less than 10-yard route. He's, he's turning at about five at about nine yards his feet plants so he doesn't lock on to him okay so i like to use the strong side safety you can use the back side safety but i want to make sure that something like this corner row is taken by my user okay now if you want to go even further you can move him out and then you can man him up what does that mean that means he's going to stay with that guy in case he tries to break your match on a two by two okay so the inside purple he's gonna bump that guy if he goes vertical and once he bumps him and if he goes vertical he's gonna be picked up by this guy right here so I'm gonna be watching the tight end now in quarters if the tight end comes and he does a vertical route this way he's gonna be responsible for him over there so that's the reason why I'm using him I'm using him because if he does go that way I'm going to pick him up and then watch the other routes out my peripheral. Okay? So I'm going to move him out. We're going to have good block sheds in cover four. I'm going to come over here. I can see that route. And as you can see, he is following that guy now a little better. Okay? So remember, these safeties are not going to be as good as cornerbacks. So what I like to do is sub cornerbacks in at the safety position as much as possible. So if you have three great cornerbacks, I will put one over here and then I will put one up here and then your user 
Okay. Now, if you're going to be using this guy all the time, you can't keep a safety in there because you're going to be the one responsible for it. Shade left. You can do anything. You can move him over a couple steps, give him a little bit more boost, come strafe, watch this corner route right here. Boom. Good coverage set. Okay. So depending on how good your cornerback is or how much you trust him in one-on-one -on -one over there, it's all up to you. Now, you can also move him out a couple steps, move him out, and then play this backside. You can mix it up. Okay, and just hope that your safety play him. He don't bump him, knock, and cut this route out. And then you can click on and get a pick right there. Or you can also use the switch stick feature. It's a lot of things you can do. But the number one thing is I want to get this purple route out as much as possible. Okay, so we come. He don't bump him. So we can cheat with this route right here. And then we can just click on to the nearest route and make a play. So you bring him over, him over. You come in right here. And then you're going to switch stick straight to the right don't bump them switch stick now we got this corner route we got the pressure on the quarterback okay so if we can get him running out of the pocket we in a good spot bring him out bring him out come right here if we don't see him bump him we can switch stick off boom no bump switch stick now we got this corner route send the guys boom great defense so now we about to go over a trips type scheme so now we're going to go to trips tight end offset now i'm going to let you see how they play different so say we were on this guy right here okay i'm going to spy the line and i want you to pay attention to this guy he's going to bump and release anything that goes vertical so we got both of them spied okay so anything that goes vertical he's going to bump them and now we have the backside help okay so let's look at that again okay so it's the numbers game so you can see right here we got number one, number two, number three. So 11 is number one, 15 is number two, number one is number three. So once he goes out, the number two receiver, if he's going past 10 yards, if his route that they selected is past 10 yards, he's going to bump him, slow him down so the guy back here can pick him up, okay? So him on the outside is going to be responsible for him. If he goes vertical, he's going to bump him and reroute him. And then this cornerback over here, if the running back goes underneath, he's going to take the vertical route on this side. Okay, so that was great defense. I came down in the box with my user because if the tight end goes underneath, I want him. Great defense. Okay, so I'm going to come bring him out and I'm going to trap the tight end. If he goes to the left, I'm going under there. To the left, I'm right here to trap it. And now you can click on make a play. Just get your click on game up to par and you can turn these into pick sixes you got to not let the computer do it you got to be able to do the click on it's super fast super easy so you can see the routes coming defense all set up come underneath him boom click on make a play okay sometimes they might get crazy animations you know what i mean so if you see him go underneath you got him and then you can still switch stick so boom take this route switch stick up now you can watch this route he throws it into double coverage because he thought it was going to be open a one-on-one -on -one situation and you just switch stick okay so this is his responsibility so when i switch stick he's still going to play on him okay so when i switch stick he still is going to play on him everything goes is guarded and i just switch stick to the yellow zone that was the trap now i'm underneath the route he throws it right there okay